Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. Well today I'm going to show you a fun technique, a little bit messy. It's called the acrylic background distress. So what you see over here, this was Baja Breeze in the background and right now I know Baja Breeze is uh, going to be retired. Marina Mist, if you want this color, it would work perfect. And we're going to add some uh, paint, just a plain acrylic paint and I'm going to show you all all the process work. Tonight I just finished my technique class and what this was one of the class the cards we did and somebody did a boo-boo and I had to repeat it. This one we're going to put two color but let's move that aside. You're going to start with your piece of cardstock like I said uh, this is Baja Breeze and I really like this color it's called the tan color in the acrylic or the vanilla to work great. So I, what you're going to do is take your paint, cover your, um, whoops, <laughs> this is the paint, <laughs> and then I just use a sponge and sponge this good. Then you're going to have to let it dry and it don't take that long to dry. You want to make sure it's covered completely. Instead of putting your finger there, you can put a little tap of snail in the back so that would stop of moving too. And this is a very light coat. You can put more if you want. Now, what you're going to do when this dry, the magic here, I prepare one. Voila. See, it's the blue in the back. We're going to use a framelit, and I really like uh, this framelit, and right now I'm blank. I'm going to put it on the screen, the name of the framelit. We're going to put this in, and I'm going to pass this in the big shot. I'm going to be right back. And I, I think I got the name right now. It's um, wallpaper. Here we go. You take this out, and now what you're going to do is take your sanding block and sand it. And you know what? You're going to sand it very good. And now you see your color. So you can do it with any color. I just love this color. It looks antique-ish. So you would sand just the top. Don't go too deep to go all the way. Not what it's not right. Voila. So now you get your uh, background done. The one that I was telling you, we did um, vanilla first and on top we put a little uh, coat of the tan. And I'm going to show you quick how it looks. I think this look, um, look kind of western. Let me pass this in the big shot quick. get stuck there. Here we go. And then I'm just going to do a little bit so you're going to see. I think this look with the two color it is wonderful. So the first color that you would paint would be the vanilla and then come on top with the, the tan color. See how pretty that is? So this is it to it. So to finish the card, I just used the cotton ribbon. We stamped directly on the cotton ribbon. I punched a like an, um, butterfly, added it up, and that is it to it. I try with uh, metallic paint too, you can see. So, and this was on crumb cake. This one was on vanilla. So like I said, you can test it with any color you want. But um, for me, my best choice now is going to be this one. Two color on it, vanilla and then the tan. I think it looks so nice western. So this is it for today. hope you learned something new. Till next time, happy stamping.